I saw a boy in the woods. His name was Sam, and I saw him first. I'd seen an empty tent before, newly built with kicked leaves and broken twigs. I was curious. I sometimes tripped over the pegs and ropes I'd left on the floor. I sometimes thought he did it on purpose, but I don't think he knew I was there. Other times, through the trees, I'd see a flash of red cave, and when I looked, Sam would be gone, and it would take ages to find him again. I started leaving things for him, nice little things, a book, a bug, and a firebox. I knew he'd stop for those things. It made him easier to find if I knew when he was going to stop. I'd be up with the birds, waiting for him to wake, trying to catch his eye through the leaves. I was playing on my own in the thick trees when he walked towards me. I was so quiet, but he might have heard me snapping twigs. I thought he was going to speak to me, but he just stopped and turned and walked away. He did that a lot. Some nights he'd stay in his tent. Some nights he'd go somewhere I couldn't find him. I could always find him in the morning. I'd hear a thrown stick land. He threw sticks a lot. Just throw them into the air in any direction. Not worrying about hitting me. One morning I waited while I knew he'd find me. I saw him watching me for the first time, hiding by the trees. For a moment I thought he'd go. He told me his name was Sam, so I told him I was Isabel. We explored all day, learning new ways to new trees. New parts of the forest would suddenly be there, as if we both knew each half of the woods. Sometimes we would find a new place, so big that we wondered how we hadn't found it before. Somewhere we could see the whole sky. Sam had lots of things in his bag. I had wanted to look through it ever since I'd seen him wearing it. Most of it was broken, old, and just made his bag heavy. Most of the things used to be mine, things I'd left for him. A book, a bug and a firebox. I remember seeing him pick things up and wondering if I'd see them again. I have a got to go now. I'll meet you by the tree tomorrow. In the morning. Okay. The tree. Bye. We met each morning at the old dead tree, where the mushy leaves turned to mud. I was always first. I watched him looking for me. He just waited quietly. Then we'd start walking through the forest again, looking for things.
Do you know this is broken? Um. I showed Sam new parts of the forest. Come on. Places I knew he hadn't been or seen. Places we could get truly lost. Where green became grey became black. trees were dark and sharp. These were my woods, and they did not like sand. Isabel! Isabel! 